Today, Utah's home of making the impossible possible. NASA's OSIRIS-REx, the first ever U.S. mission to collect a sample from an asteroid returning to Earth. ABC4's Annika Johns was on base during the landing and collection of the sample. She joins us now with what went down. Annika? Today, history was made right here in Utah. After years of preparing and waiting, the OSIRIS-REx has made its delivery of the largest asteroid sample ever received here on Earth, right in our own backyard. Now today, we watched it enter Earth's atmosphere, touch down, and be taken back to base for its continued journey here on Earth. Predicted to contain about half a pound of rocks and dust, the sample capsule touched down around 8.50 this morning, landing in the remote area of the Utah Test and Training Range. The 110-pound capsule containing the sample was launched off the Cyrus Rex around 4.40 a.m. at 63,000 miles above the Earth's surface. A few hours later, it entered the Earth's atmosphere before deploying its parachute and touching down, ending the seven-year journey to the asteroid venue and back. Principal investigator Dante Loretta says that today's landing and the mission in general was beyond flawless. It went absolutely perfectly, absolutely perfect landing. We stuck it, we didn't move, we landed in nice soft soil. The capsule looked flawless. I heard the flight through the atmosphere was right on target. They picked this up right away. Parachute came out a little early, but did its job, and we recovered it, which we weren't sure we'd be able to do. So just like we started this mission when we launched in September 2016, it went absolutely according to plan. I can't believe I'm not dreaming, quite honestly. It was so, so great. Coming up at 10, I'll have even more details of the landing and more of an inside look of this historic event. Reporting from the Dugway Proving Grounds, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.